Old English literature, or Anglo-Saxon literature, encompasses the surviving literature written in Old English in Anglo-Saxon England, in the period after the settlement of the Saxons and other Germanic tribes in England, Jutes and the Angles, circa 450, after the withdrawal of the Romans, and ending soon after the Norman conquest in 1066. These works include genres such as epic poetry, hagiography, sermons, Bible translations, legal works, chronicles and riddles. In all there are about 400 surviving manuscripts from the period. Witsith, which appears in the Exeter Book of the late 10th century, gives a list of kings of tribes ordered according to their popularity and impact on history, with Attila king of the Huns coming first, followed by Eor Manric of the Ostrogoths. It may also be the oldest extant work that tells the Battle of the Goths and Huns, which is also told in such later Scandinavian works as Erevarar's Saga and Hestadanorum. Lodahedigar argues that the work is far older, however, and that it likely dates back to the late 6th or early 7th century, citing the author's knowledge of historical details and accuracy as proof of its authenticity. She does note, however, that some authors, such as John Niles, have argued the work was invented in the 10th century. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle is a collection of annals in Old English, from the 9th century, that chronicle is the history of the Anglo-Saxons. The poem Battle of Malden also deals with history. This is a work of uncertain date, celebrating the Battle of Malden of 991, at which the Anglo-Saxons failed to prevent a Viking invasion. Oral tradition was very strong in early English culture and most literary works were written to be performed. Epic poems were very popular, and some, including Beowulf, have survived to the present day. Beowulf is the most famous work in Old English, and has achieved national epic status in England, despite being set in Scandinavia. The only surviving manuscript is the Noel Codex, the precise date of which is debated but most estimates place it close to the year 1000. Beowulf is the conventional title, and its composition is dated between the 8th and the early 11th century. Nearly all Anglo-Saxon authors are anonymous, 12 are known by name from medieval sources, but only 4 of those are known by their vernacular works with any certainty, Cadman, Bede, Alfred the Great, and Senwulf. Cadman is the earliest English poet whose name is known, and his only known surviving work Cadman's hymn probably dates from the late 7th century. The poem is one of the earliest attested examples of Old English and is, with the runic Ruthwell Cross and Frank's Casket inscriptions, one of three candidates for the earliest attested example of Old English poetry. It is also one of the earliest recorded examples of sustained poetry in a Germanic language. The poem, The Dream of the Rood, was inscribed upon the Ruthwell Cross. Two Old English poems from the late 10th century are The Wanderer and the Seafarer. Both have a religious theme, and Richard Marsden describes the seafarer as an exhortatory and didactic poem, in which the miseries of winter seafaring are used as a metaphor for the challenge faced by the committed Christian. Classical antiquity was not forgotten in Anglo-Saxon England, and several Old English poems are adaptations of late classical philosophical texts. The longest is King Alfred's, 849-899, 9th century translation of Boethius' Consolation of Philosophy. Thank you.